superheroes. They're always training for the next big battle. But me? I just like to hang out in my garage, build cool stuff. Like this cool idea of this like unicycle tank bike thing. I don't really know what to call it. And I really don't know how to build it. But one thing I do know is that if I'm gonna build a tank-like bike, I'm gonna need a tank-like tread. Now, I don't have tank treads just lying around, but I could always build one. sidewalls off of this tire so that way I'm just left with the outside treads. But to cut a tire, I was gonna need a serious tool. Okay, now I've built a lot of things, but this one is by far the most ambitious. I normally don't know how to build whatever it is that I'm building, but this one, I like really don't know how to build because it's like gonna have one wheel. Okay, now that I've cut the sidewalls off of here, this thing can move like this, which I think is gonna work pretty great, honestly. Okay, so now for the most important part of the whole project. I'm gonna need some sort of motor to make this thing move. And now where that gets tough is that I'm gonna have to put the motor and a whole bunch of wheels inside of here to make it move like a tank tread. So I really don't have a whole lot of room to work with. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna need like a small compact motor. What have I worked with before? Let's see, uh, no, no, wait, that's it. Oh yeah. So recently I built this really cool monster bike and I got those wheels to move by using electric skateboards like this one here. But the problem is, is that these skateboards are cheap, slow, and not very powerful. And if I'm gonna get this thing moving across the ground like a real tank tread, this board is not gonna cut. Okay, so this electric skateboard is like super powerful. It's got a really big battery and it goes like 30 miles an hour. So this would be absolutely perfect. Unless of course the wheels were too wide for the tire. The wheels are too wide for the tire. Yeah, you see that there? That's not gonna work because it's just gonna keep falling out of the tire. Ugh. So I was really only left with two options. Either find a wider tire or find a skinnier skateboard. Yeah, they don't really make skinnier skateboards. So I was really only left with one option. I had to find a wider tire. Yeah, I don't have a wider tire. All the tires I have are the same size or smaller. Man, this is really turning out to be quite the pain. Well, I guess I really don't have any other choice but to order a new tire, and it's gotta be at least 11 inches wide. So I went ahead and started looking for tires online and quickly realized that I have no idea how tire sizes work. I don't think I've ever been more confused in my life. I have no idea how any of this works. I've never had to buy tires online before. Like this tire here is a 245 slash 40 ZR 17 G4. What does that mean? Okay, so like after 45 minutes of sitting here just like this, I finally figured it out. Okay, I think I found a pretty decent tire. I just gotta wait for it to show. <coughs> gotta wait for it to show up. Hello? I'm back. Green dude. Hello? Is it disconnected or something? I'll just call him back. is a little shorter than the other tire, but it is much wider. So as you can see here, the skateboard should have enough room to fit inside the tire, but it's gonna be close. I really hope this works. All right, we got it. All right, we got a bit of a problem here. Uh, I was kind of trying to stay along this line, but I kind of botched it over here. Oh man, that's that's not good. I don't know if using the Sawzall is the move for this. This is a brand new tire. I really can't afford to mess this up. So it might take forever, but I think I'm gonna have to cut this with a knife. Boy, was I right. This took 
way too long. But I just kept trying to remind myself of why I was doing this. The monobike tank bike thing that I was gonna build was gonna be so cool. Okay, we got one side down, one side to go. Dude, do you think you can step in? My wrist is killing me. Okay, now that we got the sidewalls off, let's see if the skateboard fits inside this one. Okay, I am super nervous. Please work, please work. Let's go, let's go. Dude, that fits in there perfectly with a little lip on either side to keep it in there. But the big question now is, is this going to work? Okay, moment of truth, please work. No way, let's go. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, not only does this work, but like, it kind of rips. But we're just getting started. There's still a lot of work to do. I gotta put a bunch of wheels in here to create some tension. And I gotta build like a seat and handlebars on top of it. Okay, so I was thinking about putting these wheels in here to create the tension on the tread, but that gives me a pretty big problem. Having the wheel in the middle of the tread like this is gonna give it way too much room to move around and it'll probably just end up falling off. Plus, I think I just thought of a better idea. Not only will a second electric skateboard create more even tension for the tread, but it'll also go twice as fast. So if I just wedge a bunch of stuff in between these two boards, that should give me enough tension. So something like this could be pretty cool, you know? I'll just like build a seat and handlebars and stuff up here, cruising along, that's gonna be pretty sick. So real quick, let's see how this does. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, please work. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay, we're getting there. There's just a couple of problems. Okay, so this tail here and this tail here are rubbing up against the tire. And we can't have that. Okay, one board down and... <clears throat> one sec. Ow! Mm, purple dude! What? Dude, this coffee's way too hot. You said you wanted it hot. Yeah, I didn't want it that hot. I'm trying to do voiceover. I just burned my tongue. Oh, okay. What's your ideal temperature, your highness? I don't know, like 195. You know, it, it doesn't matter. I just, a heads up would have been nice. Okay. Hey, Jake. What? Your coffee's hot. Oh. <laughs> All right, we got everything secured in here. It's time for a test run. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be really upset. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yo, what? <laughs> Okay, okay, that's pretty sick. It worked a little bit, but it completely fell off of the tires, so that's not good. Okay, so as you can see here, putting this back on took over an hour, so I'm gonna make sure that that doesn't happen again. Okay, I'm gonna put a bunch of these brackets all over this thing to hopefully stop this track from falling off, because that cannot happen again. <laughs> Yeah, putting that tire back on was no joke, and I was not taking any chances. I put so many brackets on this thing to hold it in place. I was not messing around, for real. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Please work. Yo! It went all the way across the floor, and none of the wheels are falling out. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Okay, this thing's working. I, I don't think I've ever been more excited before. This is kind of insane. But I do have a ton of work still to do on this. And these skateboards are starting to die, so I gotta charge them up before I can go anywhere. All right, I'll go grab those chargers. You go ahead and start working on the frame. Sounds good. What's going on, purple dude? Nothing. Bored. Dude, check this out. What is this is? It's my monthly KiwiCo crate. Your what? Open it. 
Whoa! Spinning sand garden? Headphones? I can build these? Yeah! Our sponsor Kiwico makes learning about science, engineering, and a number of other things really fun and exciting with their interactive projects. Each crate comes with fun, hands-on projects designed by experts with everything you need to build something really cool or conduct some crazy science experiment. And best of all, it turns learning into a skill-building, hands-on, great time. Okay, so they've got nine different lines for kids of all ages. Dude, these projects are so cool. Look at this. Remote control robot snake. Bottle rocket, ukulele, color changing slime. You can sign up for a monthly subscription for the best deal, or you can just choose a singular project from the KiwiCo store. Listen, I cannot tell you how many electronics and toys that I completely destroyed as a kid, taking them apart, trying to figure out how everything worked. And if I had KiwiCo, it would have been an absolute game changer. And I mean, here I am years later, and I'm still doing the same thing. I just love engineering and science so much. So if you or someone you know has a curious mind or an itch for tinkering, I could not recommend KiwiCo enough. So go to KiwiCo.com slash Jake Carlini for 50% off your first month of a monthly subscription using code Jake Carlini. Okay, I got the chargers. How are we looking? Pretty good. I found some metal brackets lying around. We could probably use these as the frame. Sounds good to me. Everyone agree? Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. All right. No. What? It's not a good idea. How is it not a good idea? Cause it's bad. And how would you suggest we make it better? I don't know, maybe make it suck less? He's not even supposed to be here. Get him out of here. Okay, so while I let the boards charge up a bit, I'm gonna start building the frame with these brackets. So I spent about 30 minutes drilling through metal so I could install the brackets. But anyway, you wanna see me do a cool skateboard trick? Check out this ollie in three, two, one, boom. Okay, we officially have a frame. It's very strong, very sturdy. I like it, but I'm still missing a few really important things. I'm gonna need a seat and I'm gonna need handlebars. But before I can install a seat and a pair of handlebars, I gotta build off this frame a little bit more. Cause there's not really anywhere to put a seat yet. Okay, so in order to install handlebars onto this frame, I needed to connect the two sides of the frame using this little wooden piece here so I have something to screw the handlebars into. And then, in order to install a seat, I had to drill through the metal frame for 45 minutes so I could install these wooden posts and that's kind of where the seat will go. What do we do? I mean, you gotta answer it. He's just gonna keep calling. I don't wanna answer it. You answer it. I can't answer a phone. Look at my hands. Ooh, fine. What should I say? I don't know. I've never done this before. <sighs> Yellow. <clears throat> okay, now that I've got a spot to put a seat, now I just need a seat. And I know I've got a seat around here somewhere. Well, at least I thought I did. I looked all over the garage and I couldn't seem to find it anywhere. But then I remembered there's one spot I had yet to look. The freezer. What? Oh no. That's not good. Yo, phone's for you. Who is it? It's Green Dude. Green Dude? He wants to talk to me? Yes! What should I say? I don't know! Fine, give me it. <sighs> Yellow! I have something you want. You have something I want. Meet me downtown tonight at 8 p.m. Garvinson Street. There's a pink house with a pink door. You'll know it when you see it. I'll be there. Oh, yeah, and have a bad day. I hung up on them. This must be the place. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Here's what you want. Now for what I want. Yeah. Aren't you gonna ask me what it is? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wait, well, what is it? Purple dude. You gotta turn him over. Deliver him to me or all chaos will ensue. Yeah. Not a chance. What do you want with Purple Dude anyway? That's none of your concern. Yeah. Say yeah one more time and see what happens. Good. Cool. We need him for a very important thing. Uh, that's right. All right, well that is not gonna happen. I thought you might say that. I'll give you three days to change your mind. Or what? Or else. 
Whew. Okay, that was a pretty heavy conversation. I think I'm just gonna stick to uh, building stuff, and I'll let Soxus handle all that superhero stuff. Hey, remember me? I saved the day. I slept you off your feet. You swing around back, step a masterpiece. Well, they call for help, and now keep the peace. But hey, I guess I should have died. So he's in some serious danger, huh? Yeah. Should we tell him? I don't know, man. He's just a kid. Dude, he's like thousands of years old. Hey, Purple Dude. Um. Oh, dude, check this out. <sighs> That's really cool, man. Hey, listen. Uh, Soxus, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, no. Where's Jake? Okay, so this is definitely my favorite vehicle I've ever built. It looks super cool, it rips, that's all I got. 